get to our forecast somewhat. I mean, we're mm -hmm. going into outer space with you, Pamela, so we can't seem to get back onto the Earth. Nope, <laughs> not yet, not yet. Up in the sky, we have something going on. Right okay. now, Lauren, actually, if it were dark, yeah. you could see the northern lights directly overhead. We have a powerful geomagnetic storm, and this storm producing a K-index number of seven right now. This morning, it peaked at eight, and that's severe. So later today and tonight, as long as it coincides with darkness, we'll be able to see the northern lights brilliantly right above us and as far south as Mexico to the Bahamas, similar to what we saw twice last year. Remember, the most recent one was in the fall last year. So it goes lower with that K index, less of a storm Monday morning into Monday afternoon and evening, but there's still a chance to see it, at least low on the horizon. This was the picture I captured, too, from Mount Katahdin uh, looking into the northern sky at 318 this morning. So just before sunrise, lots of clouds around. But look, there are these streaks of blue to even violet. And that purplish color, that was the aurora just starting to kick up. So interesting to note that. Definitely worth checking out later tonight. And the sky condition will be much better compared to what we had last night. Boston, hey, it's been a wet month of May as we transition to June Happy meteorological summer begins today on this June 1st. But last month, we were fifth place for the wettest Maison record for Boston, 7.25 inches of rain. And that's why the drought is gone. But First Alert Live Radar shows the storm system that brought us all that rain yesterday. Not quite out of here just yet. We still are under the influence of that westerly airflow, the cooler air, temps in the 60s, and a chance for some isolated showers to develop too with these pop-up clouds. So 7 p.m. tonight, uh, isolated sprinkle as well. And then overnight, we're clearing out the sky gradually. The wind remains noticeable enough, not as widespread or damaging like what we saw across the Cape and Islands. That was a really, really damaging wind we saw across Hyannis to even Barnstable. Uh, winds as high as 50 to 60 miles an hour. For today, it's going to be 25 to 35 miles per hour for most, subsiding after sunset tonight. And today's highs in the 60s, this is going to be the coolest day for a long time. Summer heat takes over as soon as we get into the middle of this next week. Lows tonight back in the 40s and it will be refreshing with low humidity. Monday, we gain some degrees. We're in the low 70s, a 10 degree difference in some spots. And then our weather pattern completely changes. We've been dealing with this jet stream that's been positioned close enough to us, but just to the south that it keeps us busy and wet with repeated rain chances and cool airflow. Well, for the next several days, we build on the heat humidity by Tuesday and the southwest flow continues. So as high pressure is positioned just nearby to our south, it gets very, very strong with the dome of heat. And that's why on Tuesday, we're 76 in Boston, but 80s inland. Sea breeze keeps us slightly cooler at the coast, but still gets hot and toasty for everyone. Hot and humid by Thursday as well. Wow, I haven't heard us describe a forecast as toasty in so long, Pamela. 